Hey guys, my name is Mike. Welcome to my page. This page was pretty much inspired by going to a mastermind over this weekend. I went to one of my mentor, Pace Morby's mastermind. Shout out to Pace and his team, his partners, Matt Beard and Cody Barton, the guest speakers, Jamil Jam Damji and um, Steve Trang and just everybody on Pace's team, all the mastermind students. It was such a dope weekend. I'm ready back in the field right now getting after it looking at properties all that good stuff so super excited super excited to make this content and get back to creating content because for the past probably three years i haven't been making much content i was making content back like three years ago but didn't really have a plan with it and just stopped so now i'm excited to get back this is more i'm no real estate guru or anything like that but this is more just to hold me accountable for one and to for two to show you guys that you can scale up and you can live the lifestyle and you can create the business that you want and i'm going to show you guys how i do it right now my business isn't where i want to be we're doing about 15k a month and what we're looking to do is scale up we want to be in the next few months at like 50k a month and from there scale up to 60 70 80 90 100k is where we're trying to go so i'm gonna bring you guys on that journey with me i'm super excited um like i said i've been procrastinating all this and i actually speaking about procrastinating i almost procrastinated making this video this morning i was thinking about it this morning like i have to start making the content and just put it out there and i was like crap i don't have a haircut <laughs> and my haircut's not scheduled until thursday but i'm like i gotta start making it so the fact that i didn't want to do it you know i was like i don't have a haircut that is a sign that told me to do it so pretty much every time i have something that i don't want to do like sometimes i don't want to call a certain seller i'm like i don't feel like talking to them right now or sometimes it's my second workout of the day and i'm like i don't want to go to the gym right now and that's a sign for me to go do it so i'm super excited to bring you guys on this journey we're gonna be walking properties we're gonna be talking to sellers we're gonna be in team meetings with my team and everything like that right now we're focused on a lot of um distressed houses and stuff like that i have a team out in the philippines who does a lot of cold calling we talk directly to the seller we lock the properties under contract and go from there and see what our exit strategy is like i said i'm no real estate guru but i want to bring you guys on the journey with me and i'm super excited to do so so stay tuned for all this content creating we're gonna do a couple other things today i think i got a couple houses i need to walk i need to get to the office and figure things out but super excited thank you for coming on my journey with me okay i want you guys to meet my team this is my team out in the philippines we go direct to seller straight to the seller cold calling see if they're interested in selling and i have a whole team that runs the operation they're amazing i'm super thankful for them so here they are right here we have karen superstar karen we have Zai, hey everybody and we also have alex so hey everyone karen, everybody want to introduce yourself karen you can start sure Hi everyone, I'm Karen. I'm from the Philippines. We're all from the Philippines and I'm the first superstar because <laughs> I've been <laughs> the longest here. <laughs> so I'm the first superstar here. <laughs> okay, Zai, what's going on with you? Yeah, hi everyone. This is Zai. I'm, I can say I'm the second superstar because <laughs> I'm the second. <laughs> yeah, so I'm from Philippines as well. Well, we are all from Philippines, so <laughs> that's all. Great. Alex, what up? All I can say is I'm the third superstar. That's all I'm left with. <laughs> So hi, I am Alex, and yeah, you can follow my promo mic. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all great. Yeah, click the no notification bell, you know. Click <laughs> <laughs> so like the like button, button right? Oh, yeah. Hit the yeah. like button. Smash the like button. Welcome. Uh huh. Welcome everyone. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Vlog. <laughs> So what we do in these meetings, we hop in these meetings probably every single day, what well, we do every single day for about 15 to 30 minutes. And we're just doing a lot of team building activities. Also, 
if they have anything they want to go over, maybe a role play or a call calibration or something like that. So that's the purpose of these meetings. We do them every single day at 10 o'clock in the morning. Super important to build your team culture and everything like that. So I'm excited to bring you guys on this. You guys will see more of the team in the near future. Okay, so this is one of the houses that we currently have under contract. Cool thing about this one is we never have to close escrow ourselves. Um, what we're actually doing here is something called an ovation agreement. Here, I'll show you the house really quick. And what an ovation agreement means is we're actually helping the seller list the house. We're helping them get it up to speed to list it. So we come to an agreement on a price with the seller. We say, hey seller, this is what we can get you on the back end of your project and we'll help you get it up to speed, whether it's giving the tenant some money to leave, trashing the place out, some doing some repairs, whatever we need to do to get this property sold, we're gonna do that for the seller and they get their number on the back end of it. We have our agents listed. So it's pretty cool. Actually, this is Bill right here. Bill is the agent on it, and we're walking it right now to see what we gotta do to it to get it up to speed. So, super excited for this one, hopefully going on market maybe. What do you think, Bill, this week or next week? Yeah, like, like Bill's, like I told you, Bill knows what he's doing. He said we gotta get rid of that stuff. I haven't seen the inside yet, so we're gonna see what we gotta do to get this thing up to speed. As soon as possible, bro. Right. So we're gonna get walk it sold. right now. So obviously if we were to get this up to speed, like for a really retail buyer, you gotta fix it. we're gonna put some money into it. It's However, we're probably just gonna do as is. Do we even do a oh, clean up? What is it? Do we even do a clean up? I would straighten out things, make it look, mm. take the screws out of the mirror, like I said, stuff yeah. like that. Straighten out the curtains, make it look appealing. On the way back to the office, checking out this short sale that an agent brought to me, actually. Don't think that we're able to get inside, but I figured I'd check it out really quick. I feel safe going up them stairs. Thing definitely needs some love. Without a doubt. One thing I did notice though is there's a ton of multis on this street, which could be a problem on the resale, but Brockton is so hot. This is in Brockton. Brockton's so hot right now, it just doesn't really matter. 
but yeah, I'm gonna walk this property probably. The agent said that the keys aren't ready yet, but I'll probably walk it within the next week or so. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. I don't think I'm your buyer, but I can give you some suggestions. Um, I think best case is you just go fix it up, whatever you gotta do and put it on market. Right now it's, dude, it's so crazy selling houses right now. We sold one in Brockton for 25,000 over asking. And this is just a month ago. I thought the I thought the market slowed down until we sold that one. And I'm like, gosh, it's really not slowing down. So maybe the best bet for you is to just do the repairs if you have the bandwidth to do whatever needs to be done to the house and just put it back up on market. I think that might be your yeah, best bet. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Because you need the cash to go do the new build, right? Right, right. Right, so the best bet is definitely just to cash out on it. Um, yeah. And for, for us, we do buy rentals, but the only way we're buying rentals is having the owner be the bank for us. So we do a seller oh, finance okay. type of thing, and that doesn't work in your case because you need the money. Right, right. Um, so that was one option, but that doesn't really make sense for you. And then if we're doing a fix and flip, if we're buying it in cash, we're gonna need a significant discount. So I don't think yeah, yeah, it really, really makes sense. Okay. Sure. One, one thing I could say though, is what we've done in the past. If the seller needs help with repairs, we can come to agreement on a number as far as price. We do the repairs with our crew. And then on the back end, you get the, the price. So that's an, that's an option. So that might be an option down the road, maybe three months down the road when you're looking to actually sell it. We can revisit yeah. that idea. I think that's the only, that's probably the best option I have to offer you as far as our business. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll have somebody on my team give you a call in a couple months or so and see how you're doing. Okay. All right, brother, you have a great Christmas. Yeah, you too. Would. All right, man, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, two of the days complete. Typically on a regular day, I'm doing two workouts. One in the morning, one at night. The morning usually consists of, will always consist of lifting weights. Night consists of some sort of cardio. Today I had legs earlier, so did a very light five mile jog just to flush out the lactic acid in the legs and all that stuff. Still got some work to do once I get back to the crib. That's what it takes, baby. Go to bed around maybe 10, 11 o'clock, wake up early. Do it again, and again, and again, and again, and again. That's how you gotta get it done.